Welcome back. I hope that you all are fine. Today I have come here along with a new video tutorial on integration. Dear audience, today I am going to discuss on integration by the method of partial fraction. Dear audience, here given fraction is x plus 35 whole divided by x squared minus 25. This fraction is the proper fraction because the degree of the denominator x square minus 25 is 2 and the degree of the numerator is here 1. Since the, denominator, since, since the degree of the denominator is greater than the degree of the numerator, that is why it is a proper fraction. That means it, it is worthy for expressing as partial fraction. But before expressing the partial fraction, first of all, you have to express the denominator. That means you have to factorize the denominator. Here, the denominator is x square minus 25. And if we compare it with the standard form a square minus b square, then you will find that in place of x, there is a, in place of a, there is a x, and in place of b, there is a 5. So we can write a plus b that means x plus 5 and into a minus b that means x minus 5 and in place of x plus 5 I write I put that dear audience now we are going to express this uh, fraction as a partial fraction that means sum of the two partial fractions to express is it as a partial fraction first of all we have to consider x minus 5 equal 0. If we con consider x minus 5 equal 0, then we'll get x equals 5. Now, putting x equals 5 in place of x in this expression, except x minus 5. So, we get 5 plus 35. Here, 5 plus 5, but we shouldn't put uh, x equals 5 in this factor. So, without changing this factor, we put here x minus 5. Similarly, we put x equals minus 5 in this expression except x plus 5. So it becomes minus 5 plus 35 whole divided by x plus 5 into minus 5 minus 5. Now after the calculation we get here the 4 whole divided by x minus 5 and in minus 3 whole divided by x plus 5. Here you will find that 5 plus 5 means 10 and 5 plus 35 means 40. If you divide 40 by 10, you will find 4. And here you will find the 30 and here you will find the minus 10. If you divide 30 by minus 10, you will find the minus 3. Now, distributing the integration sign with the both terms, we get 4 integral of dx by x minus 5 minus 3 integral of dx whole divided by x plus 5. Dear audience, we know that if the numerator is the differential of the denominator, then we can write ln of the denominator. Here we find the integration dx by x minus 5. That means dx is the differential of x minus 5. So we can write ln of denominator, that means x minus 5. Similarly, here we can write ln of denominator, that means x plus 5, and plus c is the integral constant. So, from here we can say that the integration of x plus 35 whole divided by x, minus, x squared minus 25 dx equals 4 ln of x minus 5 minus 3 ln of x plus 5 plus c. Dear audience, I hope that you can solve the problem number three that means it is similar as the previous problem and question number uh, four question number four uh, is little bit dissimilar because the denominator is here three x square minus x minus two but if you factorize it then it becomes then it becomes uh, it becomes uh, x minus one into three x plus two that means using the Middleton factor, the process, which is the process of the doing the factorization, one of the process, 
and using the Middleton factor process we can get x minus 1 into 3x plus 2. Here it is also the uh, proper fraction and using the Thumbel process we get the integration integral of 2 divided by x minus 1 into 5 and whole divided by 1 divided by minus 5 into 3x plus 2 dx. Now we're distributing the distributing the integral sign, the both sign to the both terms, you will get the distributing this you will get um, integration here integration dx by 1 minus 2x 5 by 3 integration of dx whole divided by 1 plus x. Here we will find that minus 5 by 3 and I write here um, here the differential of 1 minus 2x is the um, minus 2 dx where the numerator is not that. To make it uh, we put here minus 2 dx um, again uh, as I put here minus 2 dx so balancing it we put also minus 2 at, at the position of the uh, denominator and applying that formula that means integral of differential divided by the, the function whose differential is the numerator so we can write ln of the lower functions ln of the lower function means the 1 minus 2x similarly we can write it ln of 1 plus x and plus c is the integral constant dear audience i hope that you could understand today's lesson later i will come along with a new video tutorial um, till then goodbye